On the Road with Machine Repeat is brought to you by John Deere. Nothing runs like a deer. Earlier in the show, we gave you a glimpse of some of the heartache in Oklahoma this week as the wildfires raged. But in other parts of Oklahoma, rains have been plentiful. And there's even an area in the middle of the state where it's been really a mixed bag this year. It's that causing a range of emotions for farmers and ranchers, with some in a better position to actually buy equipment. We head on the road with Machinery Pete to PK Equipment this week in Kingfisher, Oklahoma. Walking across the barren fields of Oklahoma. That's a pretty good little whirlwind that came through. There's no shortage of wind, but what's in sparse supply is rain. The biggest ch challenge is probably the unpredictability of the weather. Producers like Gerald Callahan are accustomed to ranching without an abundance of water. But the winter of 2018 has quickly become one of the driest on record. The U.S. drought monitor shows more than 58% of the state is consumed by dryness, with the panhandle facing the most severe conditions. We're probably right on the edge of the line here in Kingfisher. We get over the eastern side of the state that they've not been affected at all like we have. Shane Clifton manages PK's Kingfisher location, and he says the lack of rain is impacting equipment purchasing decisions in his area. We had a good rain there about two weeks back, and that you could just tell the attitudes changed overnight. That was early March, and rain has been sparse since, and growing conditions in Callahan's backyard are becoming a challenge. It's been horrible. He says feed availability is getting critical, and it's only spring. The hay is getting very, very short. Uh, we're in a very dry area. We're kind of on the eastern side of the extremely dry area in Oklahoma, but there's getting to be a lot of concern what we're going to do for forage. A lot of people count on wheat as a hay crop, and that's going to be uh, depleted as well. Clifton says wheat is the dealership's biggest crop, but cattle is considered a close second. Seen an uptick interest in both new and used balers, which, which we've always got a lot of what I call very, very clean balers in this country, and that's what seems to be the people are looking for. Clifton says what he considers clean are good quality balers with low bale counts, and that interest comes from both in-store and online, including on machinerypeat.com. Search traffic is up 20% uh, the last 60 days on round balers in general. Callahan says it's a good, dependable baler that's a need for their ranch. The windrows don't have to be quite as precise. Uh, the, the net wraps are, were a great in, in invention that really helped us. But for the equipment market as a whole? It's a really tough market to generalize right now. Small equipment has been has been doing the best generally. I mean, you stay under 80,000 bucks. So if, if you talk mid to small size tractors, it's those smaller tractors that continues to stand on solid footing for P&K. We'll sell a lot of, say, 100, 200 horse tractors and down. We'll sell lots of lawn and garden machinery, and then we'll sell a lot of combines, a lot of used combines, a lot of four-wheel drive tractors. Clifton says interest in older equipment is gaining strength. Anything that's got a little age to it, we've noticed a big uptick in that, that that's really been a high seller for us or a good mover for us. This heat map compiled from machinerypeat.com data shows the highest price of John Deere S670 series combines sold the past six months reside farther north in the plains. Combines, we've seen some amazing strength on one model series older. Clifton says despite dry conditions, interest in used equipment is starting to make a comeback in parts of Oklahoma. It started to turn the corner a little, which is which is a good sign. A sign that dealers hope turns into a sustainable trend, even as dryness persists on the plains. Now, PNK is seeing a lot more cotton acres coming in for some of their stores. Machinery Pete says there aren't a ton of cotton related machines that enter the used market, but when those pieces do, the equipment doesn't set very long and brings pretty good money. Well, when we come back, John Phipps has this week's customer support.